Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. In this video, we're going to be discussing uh, recent uh, rule changes and um, sort of not only rule changes, but certain sort of backpedaling with respect to rule changes pertaining to uh, Thai work permits and employment authorization generally here in the Kingdom of Thailand. Um, so as previously noted in a prior previously post video on this channel and noted on our websites as well as our blog, um, a new executive decree uh, came down uh, via the um, Royal Thai Gazette which noted that there were going to be new penalties associated with certain work authorization violations and there were certain penal and there were going to be uh, not only the increasing of fines but there were new uh, violations created under the new framework and this has pretty much caused something of a minor uproar with respect to those companies factories various business enterprises farms domestic uh, you know even in a domestic um, capacity environment it has a uh, it's it's created some real some real upheaval with respect to foreign nationals being employed in Thailand and to be clear we're talking mostly about Burmese, um, those from Myanmar, those from uh, Laos, and those from Cambodia working in Thailand, as there are quite a number of migrant workers of those nationalities who frequently undertake labor activities here in the kingdom. Again, this, this rule came down on the 22nd. It was pretty well immediately implemented after promulgation, and it, it immediately started having an impact, and there's even there are even news articles out there regarding um, you know a so-called exodus as various migrant workers try to leave the country to avoid having problems uh, with various Thai authorities, etc. This this is this was a significant thing. Um, as a result, and there are various articles that are discussing this. There's articles on CalSouth English, ThaiVisa.com, uh, Coconuts. Uh, this is a wide discussion um, in, in the sort of expat community as it has a, has a pretty significant impact on those of foreign nationality who are wishing to work here in Thailand. Um, but I'm just going to, I'm going to take note of a recent article uh, published June 30th in the Bangkok Post. Article's title is, PM admits new law too tough, ministry told uh, to find ways to soften the blow. Uh, Prime Minister Prayut chan -ocha has instructed the Labor Ministry to come up with urgent measures to soften the impact of, exec of the executive decree on foreign workers as the stringent new labor laws raise concern about manpower shortages in some businesses. Um, basically, and, and I urge those viewing this video to go check out, I urge those viewing this video to go check out that article directly. Um, basically what's going on here is they've implemented something um, there's been, for lack of a better term, sort of some unforeseen consequences. Um, there's been some, uh, there's the possibility of certain economic um, problems raised as a result of this change in, in legislation, this change in policy, and this change in regulation. And therefore, it looks to me as though the government um, here in Thailand is going to go ahead and take a minute to sort of review these things. In fact, um, it's been noted that they're going to take a 120-day sort of moratorium period to go ahead and review the legislation um, in order to create better implementation. But here's something to note, and I think that this is important. This is pertaining specifically, again, to mostly to national, this, this sort of upheaval and this, this sort of backlash against these regulations, um, at least on a policy level, appears to only pertain to those from Myanmar, Laos, Cambodia. This, I'm, I'm, I'm betting there's something of a, a bit of, a, of an impact happening down along the Malaysian border as well. But I, I need to be clear with this video that I don't think fundamentally um, work permit policy, employment authorization policy, is going to be too far off of what has previously been promulgated um, within this past 10 days here with respect to nationals from outside of ASEAN. So what I'm saying here is, is I, I expect that they're going to figure out some way of sort of coming to some sort of compromise position with respect to these regulations as they pertain to those with Myanmar nationality, Lao nationality, or Cambodian and Malaysian nationality. Probably even in a greater ASEAN context, I suspect that'll be the case as well. Philippine nationals, Singaporeans, um, Indonesians, etc. 
it might be there might be sort of a different framework but for so-called Farang, those from say the Anglosphere of the United States Europe I think that these policies are going to be enacted not with I, I think notwithstanding this recent uproar this is not um, this is not an issue of controversy being raised with respect to um, you know Western uh, expats here in Thailand this is specifically um, pertaining to related to uh, nationals from bordering countries who are coming here as migrant labor to work and they're essentially a major major um, shall we say underpinning to the to the overall Thai economy um, foreign workers from other countries further abroad further afield from here in Thailand than say ASEAN I, I don't think that these policies are going to be greatly changed with respect to nationals from those countries so basically the point to take away from this video is yes it looks like they're going to um, review this go ahead and implement it fully at a later date and probably make some changes with respect to um, those of non thai nationality that are migrant labor here uh, but those of non thai nationality further afield I don't think it's fair to, to assume that or I don't think it's safe to assume that they're going to go ahead and change policies to better accommodate those individuals I think as noted in the previous uh, in the previous video um, people from those national from such nationalities are going to go ahead and probably be governed by those laws as previously written or by some framework very very similar to what's already been announced